Hey there, welcome to Beach Face Island, and if you're a returning visitor, welcome back! Animal Crossing came out 10 weeks ago today, so it's day 70 in my game. I rarely start my video by opening my map, and I should really do that more, because I receive a ton of comments asking for a screenshot. So here it is! Anyway, we're starting off in the top left corner of my island, and it feels really weird because I usually start from the bottom. But now we're here. <laughs> okay, I'm done, I'm done. But I've worked on this area for the past week and I'm just really excited to show it off. This is where I've moved my main garden to and as the game has went on I've gotten a bit bored of my usual routines and I've moved on to growing hybrids. So this is my garden and my hybrid growing area. Also hid my workbench behind the stall as well. So note for new players, I like to keep DIY workbenches around my whole entire island so I don't have to keep running home or to Tom Nook's DIY station. So give it a try, it helps quite a bit when you're trying to develop other parts of your island. So here are all of my flowers that I'm working on, trying to make hybrids. Those cosmos, I'm trying to get orange and orange for black. Black roses, trying to get black and black. Water with a gold watering can, get gold. But here are some of my completed hybrids. So ideally there's gonna be no more gaps in the future and this whole thing will be full of hybrid flowers that's my goal at least so if this is your first time watching my island tour videos this whole area used to be dedicated to my campsite so i had a little pond a bunch of cedar trees maybe 10 to 15 everywhere and the campsite tent area used to be in the top left corner where the porta potties are so this area always felt like it was a bit neglected so i decided to change it up and the new campsite area is way better now and i can't wait to show you and i'll show that off in a little bit but as i take one more stroll around my garden this is ideally gonna look beautiful and colorful give it a few weeks and maybe i'll do an island tour update by then but for now it's a work in progress Moving on from my garden, we're going to go to the feature on the right of the garden, which happens to be my stargazing area. This spot has changed during each island tour video, but as I start getting more of the space theme furniture and decor from Celeste, it's starting to turn out pretty nicely. You can see some of my Nova lights, have some star pieces in the ground. There used to be way more, but uh, I let my friends pick them up every time they come over because some of them are missing some. And uh, I, I had like Taurus pieces everywhere, Gemini pieces everywhere, and so on and so on. But this is also a nice photo opportunity area so take a picture with an astronaut, you know, save it for your memories. Lame. But <laughs> those Nova lights are actually floor lights, so you can turn them on and off. So usually I do a segue where I crossfade into a nighttime capture of this area. I don't really feel like doing that today, so we'll just move on to the next piece. Here's my throwback rocket. For all of you who did not know, the throwback rocket is actually a wardrobe, so you can change wherever you want, whenever you have one set up. So here's my museum. I actually found a whole Stegosaurus piece in one day. Got all three pieces and there it is. It's just going to be displayed outside because I already have one inside. I think I have like 99% of the fossils. And here's my museum. It's moved up top. This area has changed quite a bit too over the past couple of island tours. I've mentioned this in past island tour videos, but when people get the water scaping tool, including myself, naturally you just want to put waterfalls everywhere because you just say to yourself, wow, I can build a waterfall here. That would be amazing. And then over time, my whole island just got littered with waterfalls. So I've consolidated my waterfalls just a little bit. And now I put a little mammoth piece right there and everything just looks nice and calm. And you don't hear rushing water as quick, crazily, as crazily as before. <laughs> my R turned into a W. I think I've been hanging out with kicks too much. Oh, why? <laughs> but anyway, so this whole cafe is actually linked to everything around this area. There's a pathway to it from each side. So if you want to catch a bite after you go to the museum, just walk on down to the cafe. I haven't changed much here. The diner chair color changed because I found a cool new teal colored. You know, I'm kind of colorblind. I say this all the time. I don't know my teals from my greens and my blues or my blue greens, my blues or greens, and I'm just going to keep on wrapping. So espresso machine everywhere everywhere I was gonna get another one because I found like a black one and just put it here but I thought that was too much but I like to sit here and be very patient <laughs> you know wearing a bear costume but sometimes my villagers do come in from time to time and hang out by the jukebox so I'm actually sit where the imperial dining table is and it makes me really happy when they actually use my features and the reason why I made this area with was mainly for this sign and it was actually the last thing I put up here because it took me forever to find this sign. I actually had to go to Sugarberry Smash's Island and get it from there. I think she sent me one. But anyway, that 
completed that whole section and that made me happy so to the right isn't much it's just a zen bridge because i was going to make something crazy over here but that project fell through and i ended up working on something else but over here is the pathway to my outdoor concert venue and i've actually revamped that whole entire thing so that's a little tease i'm gonna reveal it later on in the video so let's head over to another visitor favorite spot as I play with this street organ. I finally got a different color, so I put that one right out there. But I have another one within my theme park or amusement park or carnival or midway, whatever you want to call this area. It's been an eight one something great. No, got a four or five. But this midway section right here where all my carnival games are or faux carnival games. And then my teacup ride, which was the centerpiece for this whole area. And I think everybody else who plays this game gets that teacup and builds something similar to this. But as time has went on, I added more and more pieces. But during the last three island tour videos, it stayed pretty stagnant. I added a few things here and there. Added some simple panels and an arcade section in the back. But other than that, I've not really done much. And if you didn't know, you can actually go back here. So if you want to be a vendor, just go back here when you visit my island and just ask for bells to play a ring toss or win a TV or something. I don't know. Let your imagination run wild on Beach Face Island. I'm going to make that poster and put it everywhere one day oh here's the second street organ and here's my arcade area as i mentioned two pinball machines a little oh my gosh i can't think of mahjong mahjong game i'm asian i should know that huh and a dartboard that pretty much wraps up my whole theme park midway carnival everything on that list area and we're gonna move on to one of my villagers houses we're just gonna look at the outside he's one of my newest villagers i got him in one of my streams that i've posted there's a live replay click that card up above if you want to see it this is for octavian and if you haven't noticed he doesn't have a front yard if you've seen my villager videos before every single one of my villagers have a front yard except for this spot this plot this house which has a backyard, so it's pretty cool. But he does get his own little soccer field in the front. Well, it's a community soccer field, but nobody really goes in there. Once in a while, you'll see somebody catching a bug. But other than that, uh, it's just there to be there, I guess. So we're going to move on up to the next level of houses. So all of my villagers, seven of them live on this side, and three live on the main island right behind the town center area. This is Snake's house, obviously. So in addition to my new hobby of creating hybrids, I've also moved on to making custom paths or custom ID designs or design IDs, whatever it's called. So obviously Snake's house is right here. So each of my villagers have their own custom floor in front of their houses. And if you're interested in seeing that, I actually have a video dedicated to all of my custom IDs. And you can click that card up above or visit the link in the description to check that out. I'll also leave my creator ID in the description of this video. But if you're more nitpicky and want to see each one one by one or have each code one by one, click that video and you'll see it there. So we just passed Carmen's house and we're going to move on to one of Animal Crossing's most popular villagers. He's actually outside playing that little wooden drum. Oh, he caught me. <laughs> he catches me every time he stops playing, but this is Marshall's house. See his little floor right there, but on every list that I've seen on Animal Crossing's most popular villagers, he always cracks a top five. If not, he's number one. So it's a pleasure to have Marshall on my island. Let's go back here to see the little UFO you probably saw when you were at my garden. And it's actually a really creepy UFO. So to combat that little alien, I'm going to switch my outfit and show that I'm not scared of you, little alien. Yeah, F this is your out, huh? Huh, yeah, you better run. Yeah, you better run back into your alien little spaceship UFO. I forgot what it's called, but I'm going to keep talking really fast to make it sound like I'm really smart. But I'm just feeling the awkwardness till I change to cool guy samurai right here. <laughs> <laughs> voiceovers get kind of boring and you know i'm sorry that you guys really like watching my videos it is i am just a boring dude and here's bones's house <laughs> cool guy samurai visits bones on the next episode of acnh so we'll speed through these other two houses and felicity this is not your house but that's sprinkles so felicity's just being nosy and smelling flowers and other yards but this is felicity's house right here you can see all of their themes on the ground matches their personalities matches their color schemes tried to do that the best I could but here is the community pool where everybody hangs out not really nobody really goes in here I guess I should make the pathways more visible or more open for them to walk into but there's like a two fence opening right there so they should walk there it's right in front of their houses but here is the community backyard barbecue area and here is my campsite to the right so I'm gonna reveal that after I show off my fishing area for those newcomers to my island tour videos this is where 
most of the rare fish are. This is my dock. And the appropriate outfit will be my berry fishy outfit. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, I really like the bear costume in this game. And I tend to use it a lot. But here is a nice little shot of the campground right behind it. So this used to be located where my garden or my hybrid growing area is. And now it's on the hilltop in front of the beach with a bunch of pine trees for some strange reason. But I think it looks pretty cool. And I have a camper today. Let's see who it is. If you're new to my videos, I like to edit out the loading screen. And it's lucky. Oh, should I add another dog to my island? I already have three of them. I have Cherry, Cookie, and Bones. My goal is to have five doggies, but I believe Lucky's lazy, so I'm tired of having lazy villagers. I actually let Hornsby go for Octavian, so I switched from a lazy villager to a cranky one. And it's much more pleasant having a different conversation rather than talking to three lazy people and four peppy girls at the same time. So, uh, you know, variety is key in this game. It makes it a bit more fun. But some of these villagers are really cute, but they also happen to have the same personality. Okay, I'm going to stop whining for a second here. Well, appropriate because I'm a shady baby. Okay, another outfit change. It's going to be Capagunna Club. <laughs> I forgot I named it that. <laughs> man, where's Cap'n up in this video, man? Or in this game? I need Cap'n. He's like one of my favorite characters. Or the whole Kappa Turtle Squad. Actually, they're not really turtles. They're some sort of made-up animal. But they are turtles. They look like turtles. And I'm just going to shit up for a second here. But this is a train wreck of a voiceover for this video. It's just really hot in California this past week. And I'm just going crazy because it's too early to be this hot already but here is my take one leave one area so if you're a new visitor to my island whenever i have an open gate stream please make sure to take something and leave something that you don't need so somebody else can enjoy it so here is my airport i never showed where my airport was till this video it's actually located between f3 and f4 and one thing that i regret when i first like started this game is that I wish I chose a town center area that had more of a grand walkway because it's really close to my airport and I love seeing other people's island videos where they have this amazing walkway to their town center. I just wish I had that but fortunately I have a LACMA Urban Light tribute right in front of mine so it looks pretty awesome. It's another one of those cool things that looks cool at night so if you want to check that out check out my previous island tour video because that was the whole highlight or showcase of that video. So here's the moon past the moon here's the fountain and then here's my next cranny I kind of updated it just a little bit I actually got a second where open sign so my little gripe earlier about not finding one well as soon as you find something they start giving it to you over and over again right here's my little orchard just ran through that really quickly and we're gonna run to the left side and we're gonna pass my residential services building actually we're gonna stop by right in front of it because I recently got this TV camera and I love putting it dead center right here because this is where a lot of the villagers like to do their random workouts random dancing singing yoga whatever it is and I just think it looks awesome because it looks like they're being recorded maybe they're YouTube streaming or <laughs> whatever it is just gotta use your imagination when you play this game so here's my street piano and a little fun fact about my island i hide a little tape deck right behind it or a cute music player i guess that's what it is i'll pull it out for a second but having this here attracts all the villagers to the piano and a lot of them like to perform to the right of it and i actually have a video that i uploaded earlier this week where cherry carmen and marshall were singing a marine song 2001 and they would not stop singing until i turned my game off so that gave me the opportunity to record that so click that card above for that shameless plug to see Carmen Cherry and Marshall singing Marine Song 2001 and it's really funny because at the end of the video you see Octavian just hating on them but he also actually ends up singing and he's a little bit farther away so he tried to be sneaky about it anyway I added more of a little changing room area and an outdoor sales area to my able sister spot with a little sofa to lounge on but I just wish there was department store clothing rack so it could look a little cooler but for now it's good for now it's good if anybody knows if there is one of those department store clothing racks let me know because I haven't really looked at the whole catalog for this game and I know there's people out there who have studied that and if you know of one let me know if you know how to make one let me know and actually maybe give it to me that'd be pretty cool you can make a friend on animal crossing and here's cookie trying to catch a bug good luck you never catch it <laughs> so we're gonna move on to the last three villager homes and you're gonna see their cute little custom designs that i made for them and i mentioned that video if you want to get those codes click the link in the description below and my creator id is also there so if you want to browse through my catalog 
there's Cookie's house and there's Stitch's house. You can see my catalog through there. And we're going to move on through the orchard to finally head over to one of my crowd favorites or one of my visitor favorites, my outdoor Zen garden. So I haven't really touched this since then. It's pretty much been the same. I added another Takami bed, is that how you say it? And here is the actual front entrance of it. We went through the back and we're going to visit one last area on my center island. And do you even lift, bro? This is the outfit that's appropriate for that. This is where a lot of workouts happen. A lot of sweating, a lot of pain and tears, trying to get them gains. <laughs> Just kidding. It's funny because when you lay down on this, your villager is actually sleeping. And that looks a lot like my workouts in real life. Hmm. Hmm, this game knows me so well. Heading back to the Zen Garden. This is actually how you get into the main entrance or one of the grand entrances for my outdoor concert venue, which I mentioned earlier that I completely revamped. So I'm excited to show it off and finally reveal it to the world right before we take one last look, one last clothing change, and I think I'm just going to wear my usual outfit. You know, my normal outfit isn't any better than my wand outfit, so <laughs> I don't know why I even changed at that point. Here's my little tea room to the right of my Zen garden, and it's actually linked to my outdoor concert venue. As you can see, I moved my starry flooring all the way over here now, and this whole entire ground is paved with it, and Stitches is just sitting down in the middle of the pathway. I love how these lazy villagers just love to do that. I've also raised the cliff sides on both sides to the third tier on the left with a waterfall to the right nothing because I kind of messed up and forgot that you needed two spaces for a waterfall and here's cherry just staring at a wall hmm <laughs> that was pretty weird but it was funny because while I was working on this I had a lot of villagers just randomly running everywhere and you know they would sit in these chairs while I was trying to arrange everything so I had to block off the way to finish it but maybe three or four of my villagers including Octavian uh, Cookie and Sprinkle. She actually had a great time while I was building this. She kept getting on that mic all the way to the right, the one closest to Cherry right now, and Bubblegum KK is playing, so you just see her singing Bubblegum KK directly into that microphone, and I loved how that looked. So here's a little clip of that. I'll play it while this video is going on. But that actually made my day. I was getting really irritated because when I was on the second tier, putting those high hyacinths, is that how you pronounce those flowers? Octavian was up there randomly and just sitting in the middle of the pathway where that waterfall is to the top left hand corner and <laughs> I just got on my nerves. So here's the right side of my island. It's pretty pretty much the same. I added a little seating here if you haven't seen this. And the lighthouse used to be raised on a second tier but now it's back to the first tier. And here is another crowd favorite, a lot of praise for this section. Here is my monster statue or the Godzilla statue, whatever you want to call it. So I guess it's feeding time for Godzilla. And I know a lot of you have been wondering what this last outfit was. It's my hot cat dog. I cannot say that fast. I'll start doing a ha 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 <laughs> if I try saying that quicker. But this is usually the outfit I arrive in if I visit Randoms Islands. If you ever want to befriend me, this is what I'll arrive in when I come to your island so <laughs> expect hat cat dog <laughs> i said hat cat. hot cat dog imagine the hot cat dog right there gotta do my little tiger king impression i guess <laughs> to get that out but you can actually hit the third tier from here and these lawn garden chairs actually don't serve a purpose because you can't sit on them they're all for show <laughs> so this is exactly where octavian was sitting and i was trying to put more plants down and he just wouldn't get out of the way so i had to reset the game to get his butt up or yeah, I kept trying to run into him to make him stand up, but he still wouldn't. And this is where Sugarberry Smash and I like playing hopscotch. That pretty much wraps up most of my island. And for those of you who want to stay and see my house or the outside of my house, here it is. This hasn't changed much at all. I just took off one piece of the fence so that I can hop back and forth between my house and the museum if I have to donate anything really quickly. And the front of my house looks pretty much the same. And it leads to my garden, my rock garden, and my actual flower garden. This might all change in the near future because it's getting kind of stale, or well, at least to me. And I'm not going to show the inside of my house just yet because my last HHA letter, I got 147,000 points. So I'm about 3,000 points shy from 150,000 and that's when you get the gold HHA trophy. So I don't want to do a house tour until I get that gold trophy. So for the meantime, enjoy this island tour video. Hopefully by next week, I'll have a rank S 150,000 point house tour video for everybody. But as of now, 
I really appreciate that you guys spent this time with me, 20 minutes of your life with me. <laughs> and if you really like this video, check out these other videos. And if you really like spending time with me, please make sure to subscribe. Other than that, I'll see you all soon. Have a great day. Bye.